So Dimitri Bivol wins a 12-round unanimous decision against Canelo Alvarez to retain his WBA world title at light heavyweight. Now, I think Bivol looked very, very good today. Good combination punching, inside shots, good jabs, and, you know, proved that he's one of, if not the best light heavyweight in the world. In my opinion, the best light heavyweight is Artur Beterbiev, who's obviously got a big fight coming up against Joe Smith Jr. for the unified WBC, IBF, and WBO world titles at 175 pounds. But Dimitri Bivol looked excellent today. You know the scorecards didn't, you know, do nearly didn't justify how the fight went. You know, one of the scorecards, uh, not all of the scorecards were one fifteen to one thirteen for Bivol. Uh, but in my opinion, the one seventeen to one eleven card that one of the analysts had, I think that was perfect. Eight to nine rounds I gave Bivol. He dominated that fight, and he deserves to be. You know, up there, with, you know, as one of the best boxers in the world. And I've been a big fan of him for a while, but he never really got that recognition because he never fought, you know, uh, uh, a very well-known fighter. He has some good wins in his on his resume. He has been uh, former world champion Jean Pascal and uh, obviously top contender at the time, Su Sullivan Barrera. You know, but he didn't have that, you know, that fan support, I guess, from the boxing community. You know, a lot of people knew about Dimitri Bivol, but he's an excellent fighter. And is he ready for Dimitri, uh, for, sorry, for Artur Beterbiev? I would love to see that fight. Hopefully, Beterbiev can get through Joe Smith Jr., take that WBO title, and, you know, keep his WBC and IBF world titles. But, in my opinion, Bivol's going to be a hard matchup for Beterbiev. I think Bivol beat Beterbiev uh, two or three times in the amateurs. So he definitely knows, you know, what it takes to beat him. But Beterbiev is obviously a way better fighter now than he was in the amateurs. And, you know, I think Dimitri Bivol versus Artur Beterbiev is a huge fight for the boxing community. 175 pound is definitely the best, biggest fight out there. And in my opinion, I think Beterbiev stops Bivol. And... But I think Bivol could definitely, you know, dominate a, va a vast majority of their fights up until the the final rounds where Batavia just sticks it on him. But, you know, we hopefully we can see that fight in the future. And, you know, let me know what you guys would, you know, think about that fight. Let me know what you guys think of Canelo losing for the first time since the Floyd Mayweather fight on paper. And... You know, what do you think about the future of Canelo, the future of Dimitri Bivol, the future of the 175-pound light heavyweight division?